Well, salutations, my friends, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as that beautiful Republic of China. So, we've got a couple comments to go through, and continue on doing our focuses and making China number one. So, first comment is that someone says that there's not really much to do after we take out Vietnam. I'm pretty sure that person's right, even though I think we might eventually get a way to go to war with Burma, maybe? We'll see what happens, I don't know. Um, I know. I do know that there's probably not a whole lot left, but I would like to get through at least the focus tree for now, and see what happens. Victory for Golort. Ooh, Takahito uh, usurps the throne, but... Golort in Brazil, cool. Um, oh, the people's Germany has been has risen up and declared war on the people around there. Cool, good job, guys. Uh, comment from yesterday as well. Someone asked if McCarthy could ever become president of the U.S., I want to say no, I don't know everything about TWR, the Thousand Week Reich. I doubt McCarthy could actually come to power. I know Patton can. And actually, technically, all these people can. Erwin Williams, Erwin Walker, I mean, Erwin Williams, who's that? Erwin Walker Van could, at some point, power's dictator, military rule, Lemnitzer's government, Ridgeway's leadership, uphold American democracy. So there's those characters. You got Douglas MacArthur, obviously, and Patton can... Uh, Contest them later on. You got Taft, and to get the military coup, you have to do choose Taft's conservatives. You got establishment Republicans. Uh, you have moderate Democrats. You have Thurman's Dixiecrats. You got like was it Aldi Stevenson for the Democrats? I think. Uh, so that's as much as I know. I don't know everything about the USA, but I just don't think you can get um, that one guy, the McCarthy. That'd be really cool though. If you could. That'd be very very cool. Very very cool. But that's okay. Right now we're trying to finish up new land reforms because we we might want to solve a few things called starvation. Oh, and the U.S. is getting more and more involved in the area close to... Oh, okay, they've directly intervened into the war. Uh, I don't know if I really like that because when I did that, it didn't go so... It went fine. It went, actually went great. I mean, we did really well. But, oh, Brack. Hello! Now that's the first nuke I've seen in uh, Thousand Week Reich. Goodbye, Copenhagen. Back the war against Germany. Um. Do I want to get involved? Mm, mm, they're gonna say yes. They're gonna say yes. They're gonna say yes. Back the. You know, let's let's cause some gridlock because we don't want to appease the United States or the Toronto Accords really in general. Let's do that. New land reform. So, part of Dr. Sun Yat-sen's Three Principles of the People. The concept of land reform first appeared, advocating for strong government intervention on agriculture to ensure the welfare of our citizens. These plans were first attempted by the communists, but their defeat clearly demonstrated that their approach to land reforms have undoubtedly failed. However, by borrowing some ideas from the Reds and taking inspiration from Dr. Sun, the Republic of China is in a prime moment to enact long-awaited land reform measures thanks to the fact that a large portion of the reconfiscated land from the Red Zones are now state-owned. Title of the new land reforms. These acts are treated as measures to combat the widespread, current widespread famine in the countryside and decrease the productivity of farmers by giving them incentives from a series of land reforms. Uphold the ideals of Dr. Sun Yat-sen. Yes. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Wow. Not bad. Cool. Uh, uh, apparently we cannot cooperate with the West, so we gotta contest American dominance. Attention to the economy. Uh, this stuff would all be very good to do. Diplomacy options. Well, let's could do that. Regulate the food industry. As they say in the classics, food is a heaven is heaven to the people. Our next task is to move heaven and earth itself to the well of the Chinese nation, creating through rising commodity tariffs a wall that shall forever guard against the perennial enemy of China. Famine must be banished and the soldiers of the nation shall stand guard against it. Of course. This will probably lead to a mild instability in our financial sector, and already the pesky little idiots who run our central banks have admitted that they cannot prevent a near-term financial uh, negative situation from occurring, but the future as ever is insistent. Ooh, you know what? What if... Well, we don't get no special events for that. Let's go and do this anyways. It's probably a bad idea to do it, but whatever. We're here for the fun times. Maybe not the great times, but the fun times. Ooh. We could get some more war propaganda. Tomorrow, the UK could be our enemy. We need you to defend your country today. That's not bad. Um, anything else around here? Anything here? Get yeah, let's go to early mobilization, probably. Uh, let's see. Ooh. There's no thing up here. Pending resolutions? No? Not sure why it popped up, but... It just seems to randomly do that sometimes, and that's okay. Any more nukes? Please. Please, we want to see the bombs fly. Oh, look at that. The Republic of Slovenia is out. Hello, Slovenia. Drago Musa M Marusic. Cool. Uh, let's see, another comment from yesterday saying, I asked, like, why, you know, why do you say Chinese or Sino sometimes? Apparently, the Latin word for Chinese is, like, Sinai, Sine. And that's kind of how we came up to it with Sino in English. So it's from Latin to English. And that's why we say Sino instead of Chinese sometimes, I guess. It also means Sericum, 
I guess in Latin means Chinese goods or silk, so the more you know. Because, you know, back in the ancient days, they were trading all stuff around here and going through them silk rows and go, whoop, we found ourselves in Rome. Wow, look at that manpower. That is nice. Whoa, what is this? Mexico declared war on the autonomous indigenous republics? This is different. Okay, so they're conservatives. Out with the indigenous pagans. Um, this is kind of cool. I've never seen this before. They have no focus for you, which sucks, but that's okay. The Mediterranean Union, interesting. Better artillery is always great. Let's grab some uh, improved shells. 15% soft attack is nothing to laugh at. Holy cow, that is... That is a lot. And I like it when we get a lot. Not bad, not bad. And we're currently researching... Yeah, cruiser hulls. Are we making those carriers? Ooh, look at that, carrier hull, not bad. Could make some more dockyards, but, you know, it is what it is. What are we currently making? That is so much manpower. Infrastructure and trying to eventually emphasize more civilian factories. Chiapas, this looks like a very difficult nation to play. How much strength do they have? They have probably around 15,000 manpower, 5 to 13 divisions. They're probably going to get crushed by the rest of Mexico. Ooh, let's see. Cruisers are good. Cruisers are very, very good. Before we make them, though, we got to make sure that we do at least medium batteries. Yeah, there you go. Need to have at least that. And let's go to mm, early mobilization. Very nice. Ah, even more. We don't get a penalty as much to building factorinos. Love it. GDP? Oh, China. China number two, but the food industry is the lifeline of the Chinese people. Under the current system, there has been little to no monitoring in this uh, sector, becoming one of the reasons of China's prolonged famine. Therefore, actions have been taken against these parts of the industry in an attempt to fight against the nationwide hunger caused by inflation or inflated prices and so on. Ooh. We number two, we actually surpassed the UK. Nice. We're a little less than triple under the United States, but that's okay. Fight the famine. Our interference, so although necessary, in the food market has created artificial famine, and now falls upon us to fall solve the burden we've created. Massive overbuying of grain reserves on the international market, choice investments in the rapidly industrializing agrarian industries of Asia, and straight-up exploitative policies for our farmers will help alleviate the burden. There's talk of more ambitious policies to be implemented in the near future. A national agency catered directly to famine relief and imports of expensive farming technology in the American model will spearhead efforts to make a famine everything of the past in the new republic. Well, those are dreams for now. We can put our hands to the tiller and focus on making tomorrow real. And which after this will probably develop our industry more. That'd probably be a good thing to do. Probably a very, very, very good thing to do. Don Cossack League. That's kind of cool. You have no cores in this area, but you're led by uh, Shkoro, Mountain Republic, Kalmika, Kalimkia, State of Georgia, Azerbaijan, or, yeah, Socialist Republic. Oh. Kind of large there, Azerbaijan. A little large. Turkmen People's Republic, Uzbek Khanates. So many nations. So many nations. And it looks like uh, the Americans have gotten involved. Oh, uh, I doubt I could send... Oh, you guys are probably actually doing okay now. I can't send you volunteers, which kind of sucks. kind of want some volunteers, but whatever. Hmm. And they're allied, right? Or they're just not fighting... Yeah, they're just not fighting other people. Oh, they're still fighting, though. These people. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Hunch Spidal. America and the British, they just always have to get involved, don't they? Always have to get involved. Hopefully you see more conflict, though. I want to see a lot more conflict. Quite the famine, very cool. Backward society, that does not look good. Gonna get 0.41 political power a day. We still might do war propaganda against the UK, because that's it's for only 50, you get one, plus one a week. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Magdeburg. Well, the Benelux is looking a little better now for the Toronto Court. Wow, that is disgusting. All that British influence or control and some Belgian control. Ooh, Iraqi oil nationalized. Oh, no, not the oil. How much oil do they even have over there? Resistance, supply, resource. Eh, that's quite a bit. 35. That's not a huge amount, but that's a pretty good amount, you know. Better than Iran. Uh, not, not better than Iran. Iran has 42 right there, but they have 35. That's usually adds up to 46. Over here... That's a bigger number, 68. And Saudi Arabia obviously has a chunk of fuel. Not nearly as much, though. Not nearly as much. I uh, got about a month left for improved shells. We need more anti-tank. Ooh, we no longer have food industries regulated. And we still have another tw less than 20 days. Less than 20 days. I'm probably going to go for partial mobilization or even war economy just because we want to get as many consumer goods going as fast as possible. So, And less penalties. Less penalties is a great thing to have. The French state. And we'll probably see... Italy, maybe go, most likely go democratic, I think that's what they normally do. Normally go democratic, begin the recovery. 
Liberalize the markets. Continue co corporatism. Ah. Shipyards on Taranto. New fascist man. That sounds kind of cool. Oh, what's this? Necessary of modernization. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Join here with my cat, Binky, sitting on the chair. He's enjoying life as normal. Oh, and the U.S. has invaded Rorschach. Oh, I wish you could see what was going on. Hey, but look at that. We got some good naval XP right now. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, another destroyer. How lovely. You know what, though? At least we can hopefully edit our divisions. We can fight the famine. And anything down here. We could do this. Eternal President. The Chinese Agenda. I kind of want to help out the industry more now, though. Industrial Development. As the city of Beijing burned, the eight-nation army forced China to bow to the west. As the Japanese marched into our cities and tortured our primitive villages, we learned a bitter lesson that has never gone away. We can industrialize and make ourselves relevant, or we can die. There is no third option. Unfortunately, our rhetoric, rhetoric alone is insufficient to build a bridge between this vision and reality. We will begin efforts to centralize, rationalize, and expand our native industry. And the executive yuan's interests will be put, put the full force of our state behind our efforts. Great. Yeah, we could definitely use some more army XP. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't like the military police on here, but it's kind of okay. These guys should have military police. But let's go ahead and train. Even though we're already fully trained and ready to go. Let's go ahead and train and make ourselves a little bit better for now. Anyone else have upgrades? No. And yes. Improved shells. Very nice. Go ahead and grab some better tanks. Maybe. Maybe not. They're not looking that much better. Uh, better guns. Yeah. The Chiang Kai-shek rifle. That seems pretty cool to have a, a rifle named after you, don't you think? I. That's what I think. Pretty nice. Um, we got plenty of artillery. Go ahead and keep training. You guys. Yeah. I'm going to convert you to mostly just... Oh! Oh, hold on. Nuclear weapon... De de one kaboom over Munich. A city of savages overcome by savagery. Ew. What is it? 14 combat width. Uh, it's not god-awful. It's not really that good. Hmm. Yeah, I'd hate to be Germany right now. I would really hate to be Germany. It does not look like they're having fun. And how much we get a point for six a day? Uh, oh, there we go. We can famine recovery progress. As the consequences of years of strife, the great famine swept across the nation, claiming countless families with the fate of the starvation and antagonizing pain. Uh, recovery rate? Not bad. Better medium batteries? Nice. Naval stuff. Anything else here for light cruisers? Not really. Oh, I guess we can do that one. We might as well wait and do this one, I suppose. It is almost 55, but whatever. We could get more war support, but improve arming methods. Get a bonus for industry, not bad. Less stability when selected for. Famine uh, recovery progress. I don't mind losing political power, though. Let's get a bonus for industry. Approve farming methods. That would be good. Yeah, as much as I like that. Now, nah, that's not bad. Oh, we're demobilizing some more now. The Great Famine, Agrarian Economy. You know, it is what it is. Keep building up those roads, and we're going to start building some of this and some more military factories. That would be great. Yeah, the UK. I'm going to assume that's a lot of the United States that are actually doing stuff, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I would hate to be these guys right now. But happy 1955, my friends. This is a new year, new us. Good times. Good times all around. Chiang, do you have any benefits for us? No. Authoritarian system. Hmm. Export focus? We can't go any lower, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Aren't you two factories? A shoot stoffel. Oh, pull, pull Himmler. He had a chance. And it's not really his fault that he lost. Not really. But he's gone now. Pretty, oh, he's almost gone. Ah, Nuremberg. I wonder, if, I wonder if they're gonna have any trials down there. Maybe. But then again, maybe not. Cool. And merely 13 more days until we get industrial development done. Please have more war over here. I just want to at least see more war. I wonder what the USSR is doing. Unknown focus of uh, Kolnev. Uh, how about the Russian Republic? Vlasov. Huh. Russian will. How many more days? We got seven. Oh, that's so long. Seventy days. Good lord. Good lord. Oh god, this looks so bad. Just because a fear dies doesn't mean anything. Oh, Denmark and Ordenshot were annexed. That is disgusting. Why would you do that? Why don't you just trade these places over here with the UK? Oh my goodness. Why? Why would you do that? Zanxing Oil, looking for oil. Zan Xinjiang, the new frontier, is a foreign land filled with people whose loyalty is to the state. Is, uh, Perhaps questionable at best, but it's also brimming with, brimming with oil and natural gas, fuels vital to the construction of a true national industry, and so the policy of this pity little province is vital to the nation as a whole. We will make efforts to develop, force develop, the province's industry hubs like Urum Kui, developing these uh, urban centers into factories for oil processing and refining, and that is to say nothing of the pipelines we will build from the 
from the hearts to the east to the north. Yes, a new frontier will soon become Xinjiang, a heart province whose pumps shall be heard throughout China. It only takes 56 days, which we've already did stuff off screen, so it's only going to take 54 more days. 52 more days. Oh, this is so sad. Why did Germany have to die so early on? USA, why do you got to get involved? Mac MacArthur, why did you get involved? Oh, my goodness. Ooh, the Moscow Red Army is going bye-bye. Free Russian movement, open in Gotland International. What an airport. It's surprising that they are still alive, to be honest with you. Oh, hello. Mikhail Skorodumnov. Okay. They are paternal autocrats, Eastern Spring. New White Army. Great power designs, okay. Heavy plated. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's interesting here with the National Republic of Ukraine. But then you have the West Ukrainian National Republic. What's the major difference? Why don't you guys just unite? You're paternal autocrats. Oh, you're fascists. Oh. Maybe that's why. Hmm. I guess that would make some sense. Just a little bit. Alright, so what's the next decision we can take for this? Subsidized farms, we'll probably do... Uh, maybe do that. More political power than 39? How about 39.5? I don't want to redistribute grain surplus, because I don't want to lose stability. Uh, I don't mind losing more political power, but we'll probably just do subsidized farms to get that over with first. Famine recovery is already at 30%, so that's not too bad. I think after we uh, get this oil... Ooh, call to arms, we will see. In the German Inferno... Um, the Volk's command will proclaim the formation of the People's Germany in Germania. I think after this, we're going to go ahead and go down here so we can do the eternal president as fast as possible and do the Chinese agenda. Oh, the Wehrstadt. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Why did this flip over? Effort. Oh, do they eventually get to flip over different provinces? That'd be kind of cool. Let's go and throw all more guns over here. There you go. Maybe they do. That'd be kind of cool. Then again, I think that happened in my gameplay as well. I mean, People's Germany took over all of this. Which kind of sucked for us, but you know, it was what it was. Uh, let's go and do that, why not? 35%, we'll still take it. I'll still take that. Chinese diplomacy, what else? Anything else? Promises of peace. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Uh, peace is nice and all, but have you ever had world domination? I, mean, I don't I don't know if this will actually be a world domination campaign. We'll see how far we can get, see how much, how much we can do. There's no guarantee about any of this, so... We still have no fuel, but we're getting more fuel. Even though we have no fuel. Daily gain is 96. We do have a refinery, apparently, though. Base gain is 48 from refineries, 48, so that equals up to 96. Not bad. Ah, oil. According to expert spe speculations, Xinjiang has a power hole to be China's big biggest domestic on land oil deposit. With this information in mind, we have sent an expedition to Xinjiang, or Xinjiang, in an attempt to locating the undiscovered oil fields. Cool. There's a little bit, of, a little bit of political power, but that's okay. Crush the ele communist elements. It'll do the Chinese. Agenda next after due attention to the economy. In recent times, China's economy has not been the most stable and most developed in the world. However, every great power needs a strong economy, with the domestic threats having been in large part dealt with. Economic policy can come to the forefront. We will make sure that this potential of China's economic resources are utilized and a powerful economy rises. Absolutely. God dang, America, why did you have to get involved? How many are dead, actually? That's a good question to ask. How many people have died? It's 100% world attention? Jesus. The Belgian German War, not looking good for the Reich. Uh, the Reich is almost dead. They're not dead yet, though. Surprising, they've lost 30,000 people. Let's grab some more research just so we let time go on. Uh, that stuff, that stuff, that stuff. Tax uh, Marinos. Um, that stuff is okay. I think we're done with this stuff for now. Land Doctrine. Yeah, I should probably do that. Excessive Planning and Preparation. Uh, regular Resistance. Asymmetrical Warfare. Asymmetric. It's not bad. Oh, you get more population, but I don't think... I think we'll be okay with population. Plus 20% more soft attack is not bad for leg infantry. More defense, though. Instead, though, even more soft attack. That's not bad. Recruitable population? Good lord. Defensive stratagem? National cause? Holy crap. Oh, uh, we'll go with strategic theorem. Why not? Oh, never mind. That's 448 days. Never mind. Never mind. Jet engines. Yes. The German-German war. Well, they're about to die. Um, emergency Valstadt. Oh, uh, there goes one more nation. The Russian-Moscow war. Interesting. That's a lot of losses. Compared to not a lot of losses. Wow, that is insane. Um, polio vaccine declared safe. A true victory for all of humanity. Great! Uh, 26,000 pagans, apparently, versus 10,000 Mexicans. Cool. Uh, yeah, I would not want to be Germany right now. I would definitely not want to be them at all. Oh, my goodness. Hungary's looking okay, though. Yeah, it's unfortunate that... They got taken out by Romania. Romania is looking kind of thick, not going to lie. Did Oh my gosh, they just nuked Vienna. So, so, oh my gosh, look at that. Nuclear attack city? That's new. 
a beacon of modern day society, the towns and cities in which the citizens go about their daily lives and work for the greater good of the country. The sheer amount of destruction upon a site which once housed the homes of thousands of families is truly saddening. Nothing but rubble remains here. Less speed, organization regain, minus 90% division, attack, and defense. Attrition from weather only applies to the controllers at war. Wow. That is nuts. I, I like that, though. I like that addition. That seems like a really, really, really good addition to the game. Uh, for you guys, select all. Just do this one. There you go. Realign yourselves. We're going to need way more anti-tank now. Alright, we'll do something like that, then, maybe. Keep it down here. Keep it down there. Keep it down there. There we go. We'll get enough guns eventually. And make some uh, dockyards, too, eventually, too. I always want to keep one line on civilian factories and probably one line on... Military factories. Uh, we probably need to build all this up eventually, though. And I might build it further back into this part of China, just so that no one can really attack us and take out our factories. If you're on the coast, there's a potential of getting attacked, but the Chinese agenda, China as a nation, must rise back to its rightful place on the world stage. The effects of the century of humiliation must be at last be undone. China must follow a foreign policy agenda that pushes for its rightful he hegemony over Asia to be restored, and Chiang Kai-shek is a man who will push this agenda forward. Very, very good. And there goes the Reich. Uncertain times. Well, we'll see what happens when the game lags very hard. Black Gold and Xinjiang. Cool. After the ex efforts of our workers and experts in Xinjiang, Xin Xinjiang, we have finally struck the black liquid gold. While the discovery of oil field is smaller than expected, this is certainly a sign of what's to come. Xinjiang has proven itself to be a valuable region of the Republic, and even more so after its production of oil begins in full swing. Excellent. Oh, we'll get 10, but you know what? I'd rather 10 than not 10. And you know what? You never know. We might just conscript people forcibly to work on those oil fields. Don't ask any questions. The government is not doing anything bad. I swear. Maybe. Maybe. Shanghai. Yes. yes, yes. We'll build these up places up eventually. You know, eventually. Boom, 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 boom. Southern China. You're you're last. Just be you're kind of last. Just because you didn't want to really help out in the war against Vietnam. Viet Vietnam. 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 Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Oh, it's so sad looking at the emergency of Bastot. Vienna was nuked once. Can you nuke it again? One more time. For good measure. Okay, so I'm not really understanding this. So, earlier, the People's Germany, they got Frankfurt, but now it's been given back. And actually, this kind of looks kind of good. I like seeing the Hoi 4 map. You see all these rivers, and it's kind of nice. Ah, it's kind of nice seeing all these rivers. Oh, Graz. Oh, there goes Vienna. They fell. Nice. Uh, let's see. Anything else for famine? Five percent. Uh, I don't want to lose my political power. Yeah, I'd reduce the grain tax for now, maybe. Cool. Hey, the rifle's here. Great. Can I do that? We might as well. Outdated interwar rifles. Yeah, I'd definitely say they're outdated if they're using Han Yang 88. Is that means 1888? Cause that was more than 60 years ago. Holy cow! And there goes Graz. And the emergency fast shot should be done and dusted with. And we're almost done with the Chinese agenda. Great! Okay, do they really need to take every single tile? They might have to. Ah, there they go. I was right. They got Salzburg. Um, Salzburg. German People's Republic, a radical change for Germany. Please don't give it all to the People's Republic. Please. There goes some lag. Maybe Germany surrenders. Oh no. Oh no. What are you doing? Why is that in Prussia? What happened to helping out Poland? I guess they don't care about the Poles. Then again, most people don't, I guess. It, whenever you can hurt the Poles, I guess that always happens, you know. No matter what timeline, the Poles got to be strong, because no one else will be n very nice to them. But anti-imperialism diplomacy. Restoration of the Czech exiles. The Czechs are back. So, ever since the beginning of the century of humiliation, Western imperialists have dominated Asian affairs. Even as the power of the Europeans wanes, as a result of the German hege hegemony, the Americans rise to fill their place, extending their influence across the Pacific and supporting puppets in Korea, Eastern Russia, and Southeast Asia. This now must be brought to an end. Asia must liberate itself with China as its protector. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, no, they actually... Why? Oh, okay, I was wrong. They actually gave territory back to Poland. That actually, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, they're... Wait, hold on. Oh, oh. My apologies about that, but I accidentally clicked on the home button key, and it might have screwed up the video, but I don't think so. Anyways, apparently Strasser has returned to Germany. Oh, Strasser. And it's People's Republic of Poland. Wow. This is this is definitely a different timeline. So they traded National Socialism for Communism in Europe. America. America. Britain. UK. Why? Why? They're Marxist-Leninists, yet the overwhelming majority of Poland... Are paternal autocrats. 
German People's Republic united with Austria. This is literally Germany World War. What? Amer what? Um. This is literally Germany before World War II with Austria integrated. What is going on? Um, maybe Czechoslovakia can still unite with the People's Republic of Poland, but. Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. Holy crap. I, you know, when I played as America, I could have gone to war with Italy as well. But we didn't get to the option to because they quickly went to democracy, so. I'm kind of rooting for you guys, actually, Italy. You know, tie down the Americans and everyone else if you can. That'd be great, you know. Hey, this is getting more fuel, though. That's kind of nice. Oh, and of course. Of course. Iraq has joined the Mediterranean Pact, but that's probably because the Toronto Accord probably attacked him. Uh, oh my gosh. Really? Was there a nuke here? We can't really see. Oh my goodness. Seriously, man? Seriously? This is just... Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure what to make out of this at this point, you know. <sighs> Bow down. This is why we gotta do anti-imperialistic diplomacy, because if stuff like this, it's just not cool. America, why are you so violent? Why do you go, oh, nuclear boom boom? Because MacArthur is leading, and MacArthur, he, like, he likes the bombs. He likes it when things go kaboom. But not in America, just over other nations, you know, other nations. Uh, Anti-tank not bad. Berlin replaces Germania. Now it's Berlin, not Germania. Okay, then, anti-imperialistic di diplomacy. Let's go ahead and do... Crush the communist elements. With the Vietnam War distracting our armed forces, hidden communist elements had again begun to rise from the ashes. This is simply an unacceptable threat to our country. We must again sweep the nation to stamp out all the communist menace once and for all. So basically, no commies here. No, no, no. Not today, not tomorrow. Oh, some national socialists, but they don't have a party leader. They're blue shirts. Blue shirts. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, they... Oh, hey, look! They actually have one Ukraine. And they're all fascists. Oh. What happened to the other group? The paternal autocrats. Well, they might have actually killed each other off, maybe? Because they don't have cores on them. That does not seem very good. Oh, my goodness. I think Eastern Europe still needs a little bit more of a re rework. But, you know, that's just me. That's just me. They'll probably look at it later on. Please, I don't want to see... Oh, they already invaded Anzio. Seriously? Guys. Guys. Now, I love MacArthur, but could you at least elect someone else and do something else that way? Yeah, or... Oh, Richard Nixon gives you 5% more stability, huh? That's interesting. Formation of Zapotoslavia. Hope that they recover. That... That's disgusting. Like, that little tip is disgusting. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oof. Oh, hold on. Do they not get... They don't get cores on this? What? How? Why? How's... What? How does that make sense? If they unite to form one nation, why don't they get cores? That is... That is extremely questionable. What? Oh, they even have this, though. They, they don't even have... Well, may, hold on. Maybe maybe it's in their focus tree. Maybe it's in their tree. Maybe, maybe I'm being too harsh first. Let's see. It's probably over here. The Unusual Federation. Tear down the camps. Home army. Diplomats. Okay, so they. I think they can, yeah, eventually court. But why not sooner? Hmm. Or at the very least, keep, like... If it was up to me, either, like, maybe court eventually... Immediately, maybe not. But maybe have resistance rise up like half as quickly just because it was probably you know a union or a united or democratic vote to join each other together so you know what we have no stability just do this anyways but hey we crush the commies once again and we shall do new white terror violence and brutality is the only way to crush the commies every time they've been beaten in the past they've escaped and risen again this time we must hunt them down and destroy them with such terror that they are smashed once and for all and will never rise again a new white terror will be unleashed across the country more political power less stability and uh, better ideology drift defense 80 percent towards famine recovery not bad in my book yeah i don't know man the united states and the uk and our allies have been pretty violent now hopefully germany can do something here uh, they should have unique focus tree, right hopefully Oh, they do good. Victory of New Roses. That's kind of cool. Let's see. UDP coalition. A liberal, liberal coalition victory. Conservative victory. Interesting. Cooperate with the TA. We'll see what happens. They're, they're Marxist Leninists, I thought. Or something like that. Successful revolution. They probably went not that way. Germany needs guidance. Germany needs democracy. The, ah, there they go. They're probably. Oh, that's to be true. People's revolution. By the people, for the people. A call to arms. It'll be interesting to see what Germany does. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, America, you should have done this during World War II, but if they did, we wouldn't be here right now. The new white terror. How's the famine doing? Backward society, widespread poverty, left-wing crackdown. Uh, the new NRA, of course. The Great Famine, minus 59%, not 60%, but minus 59%, and minus 29% for recruitable population factor, and only minus 29% for stability, so... And only minus 50% for war support. Oh my goodness, that is so much. Wowzers. And Bowsers. How's this looking? Oh cool, we got the other uh, civilian factories done, but uh, keep making some. 50, 60%. 60% looks really good. Really good. We're doing very well on fuel as well. Do we have any planes that we could maybe train as well? Some Texan. Oh, you guys are over here. That's cool. Let's see. Y'all come up to 100. Y'all train until you're done. Hopefully. Don't destroy the planes too much. Please. Oh, look at that. One air XP. Slowly going up. Hey, we got 10 army XP as well. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. I'm going to just go and make this a little bit larger. We have enough artillery. Hopefully we have enough guns to do this. New white terror is pretty good to do. And we shall do this. The new white terror, which we'll get through very soon. The Great Republic. With Chiang's policies, China is restoring its place with the prestige of old, but led as a republic rather than an empire. China can now truly call itself, call itself a great republic, a modern nation with hundreds of millions in vast territories, the size of an empire, but with institutions to fit the modern age. Cool, more stability, actually, finally. The new white terror, of course. The wind brought rain, as it always did during the season of typhoons in China. South. Even on an evening such as this, you could feel it lying in wait like a tiger, waiting only for the right time to strike with even greater force. Yet for now, the loudest noise was the ruffling of leaves from the trees in the schoolyard outside. The low noise was much more merciful compared to the heavy clattering of windows. Or screams as umbrellas were yanked from hands, usually warming its way into the skull as he desperately tried to study for his final exams. Pen scratched ink on paper as a setting sun continuously shrouded the classroom in darkness. Beside him, where there were only a handful of other students stir sitting in the creeping twilight. Like them, like him, they could not afford the luxury of electricity at home. A decade-old lamp screeched to life as his pupils, used to used to the fading twilight, accustomed to it. He rode on, noise wormed again into his skull as one of the boys noisily ate his lunch's leftovers. He barely endured. The noise stopped. The sun vanished behind the hill. A pair of heavy steps rang outside. In the tents, his steps were drowned out by the intensifying wind. Pens scratched on paper once more, and then he heard them again, this time from inside the building. Windows clattered loudly, and they were gone again. The door flew open. Outside and th stood three men in blue uniforms. Ink splattered over the floor as one of the girls dropped her pen. Nobody said anything, though. The boy with the leftover lunch slowly backed away from the door. A nod, two of the men stormed to the towards the boy. A punch flew, then another blood from a broken nose and shattered jaw sprayed onto white paper. They dragged the boy out. The man in the doorstep gave a curt bow, and they were... Alone once more, shaking, he began writing again. Ink mixed with blood as the wind carried him muffled across the screams from outside. Still on and on, the pen was scratched. The pen scratched and scratched and scratched and scratched. Wow, that is. Oh, that's a little terrifying. Not gonna lie, that's okay. Anti tank too. Cool. We'll see what happens. <laughs> that's all I can say. Is, we'll see what happens. I don't know. But we're doing pretty well. Pretty well. I just. I hope these guys do something. Happy 1956, all my friends. Happy 1956. Please let something happen here in the Benelux. I want to see something happen. Oh, actually, look at that. Uh, the French state got uh, all states of rain back. That's kind of good for them. Wait, th there's a little rain over here. But there's Alsace. Wait. The rain. Hmm. I'm not sure these are actually added up correctly, but whatever. Maybe they are. Romandie. Schweiz. Hey, look, it looks like Italy's actually able to push out the Toronto Accords for the most part. Who is this? The Free French Republic. Okay. For the most part, they've been able to push them out. And we get 0 0.3 for a day. Now, no, don't invade Naples. Not Naples. No, no, no. And a couple, two, two more months. Italian, oh, yeah, Italian is Africa exists. Or it ha did exist, I guess. It did exist. Not anymore, though. Interesting, interesting. Baltic Confederation, cool. Anything else around here? Design supplier, not bad. That could actually help us right now, because we need more uh, research speed. But... You know what, it's time to subsidize the farms, because we are currently at 80%, and hopefully it gets up to 100 eventually, combating the Great Famine. Sicily is not looking too Italian right now, though. Or maybe it's Italian-American, or American-Italian. Hmm. Anti-tank is looking pretty bad, though. Wow, we need a lot more anti-tank. Keep investing it. Anti Banking anti-tank takes so long. Super, super long. Okay, the free wrench... French Republic declared war on them, so be it, whatever. Let's come over here and grab another uh, focus. How about that? 
Let's go ahead and grab the cult of personality. The success and ch greatness of China is more than anything due to the strong and capable leadership of the generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek. It was him that guided China through difficult times, and the people must come to know when to appreciate that. The image and words of Chiang will be printed and spoken across the nation, so all will recognize their great leader. We get political power plus 10% and a little bit more war support. Great, that could help us combat the Great Famine. And now we should be at... Declare our diplomatic ambitions. Ooh, wait, hold on. Um, where did the... Are we done with the Great Famine? Hold on. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Hello. Oh, wait, so instead of... It says 5%, but it really means maybe 10%. Because we were at 80 earlier. Let's do that, yeah. And then we'll declare our diplomatic ambitions. We'll see what happens, of course. Oh, Italy. Oh, you lost Rome. What happened to the Pope? Pope gone wild. Hmm. Uh, armies are training. What are the planes doing? Do we still got good planes? We still have, kind of have good planes. They're actually looking not too bad. Ship-wise. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I destroyed. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Throw them on there for now. As we make more divisions, or make our divisions actually bigger and better, we probably get more daily army XP just because you have more divisions involved in what they're doing, so. And I'm not training these guys at all, so. Oh, that's looking worse and worse and worse. Hmm. 0.88. Please go back down. Go. It's mostly from division reinforcements. But it looks like it's slowly... Mm, it's going... Why is it going back up higher? Oh, that's not ideal. Not ideal. But to clear our ambitions, why not? So, the Chinese dragon awakens from its slumber. We announce our ambitions even though... Are those Chinese people? They yeah, might be, actually. Maybe. Oh, Russian Republic declared one cheetah. National Honor Reclamation direct Directorev. Directive is now in effect. Cool. Establish a Nanjing Pact. We can get our own faction here. Cool. The Nanjing Pact sounds really fun. Uh Oh, oh, look at that. Liberate Macau. We can actually do that now. Cult of Personality. Don't mind if you do the Eternal President. So Chiang Kai's Shek's power has been significantly increased and threats to his rule mostly removed. Now he's the Eternal President of China. Being able to rule for life, long live the Eternal President. Following the great example of Generalissimo Chiang, remember the virtues of the three principles of the people. Long live the great president. These were the slogans adorning the walls and halls of the newly minted factory in Zhengzhou. Bustling with activity in the newer, newest machinery money could buy, its purpose was as the nose of the slogans on its walls. This was at least the private opinion of the former foreman Wang Ji Gong, propaganda in a factory producing propaganda articles. Steadily, it was not true, truly not Jing's, Nanjing's strength. At least they were not torturing them yet with those horrid songs they claimed that Nat Marshall had written themselves. His son had complained endlessly over how Japanese singers on the radio had so much better recording equipment than Chinese ones. Defeated again, apparently. All the different types of crap they hold out still amazed him. Posters, flags, portraits, slings, and most of all, simple consumer goods with the KMT or Chang logo slapped onto it. Yet despite it all, he did like his job. Pay was good, working conditions above average, and ones for his bosses cared more for the quality of the work than its quantity. For nobody wanted a banner which misspelled the three principles other people, or worse yet, a portrait with the president's face horribly misfigured. And all it had cost him was a little donation to the mayor's office. Truly some things had never changed, though. Soon, he was sitting in the factory's courtyard, smoking a cigarette, adored with a white on blue sun, and the president's face on his package. The white midday sun shone, his, shone on his face as the distance a TV blared the generalissimo's new speech to the nation. The serenity shattered as his boss tipped him or tapped him on the shoulder. Uh, what do you mean we are producing radios now, too? Cool, it seems like we're getting quite advanced. Uh, let's go and grab some carrier fighters eventually because we want to have some of those, too. That'd be nice. Cool. Wartime cast? How about cast Uno? Very nice. Eternal president. And now, do we get any more? 0.94, not bad. Not bad. I like that. I like any more uh, political power. That'd be very, very bueno. Research-wise, we have less than a month for ant infantry anti-tank 2. And Italy seems to be holding on. How is the war going? Because the UK is just trying to demolish the hell out of Greece. And that's really sad. The French state is slowly doing okay, I guess. French state, though, 40,000. Third of a million. Yeah, I don't know. Even though you, the Toronto Accords have taken more casualties than the Mediterranean Pact, they're still inflicting a lot of casualties on each other. Oh, boy. Well, they already nuked Rome. And, oh, boy. Well, that's not good. That is really not good. That's not good either. That's really not good. Why are you so violent, USA? Because they can be, that's why. Um, actually, is the French state fighting just France, or is it, oh, they're fighting everyone there? The French popular state? I gotta play the French state. They look like a lot of fun. This social French order? Oh, Representative Wilhelm Schepmann. Reichsvertreter. Um, okay, sure, why not? Do they have unique focus tree? I think I said, oh yeah, so yeah, yeah, they do. Looks like a lot of fun, though. All right, let's grab some uh, 1950 guns. Long stroke gas piston. Yes, please. 
Cool. We already finished the next set of civilian factories. Awesome. Next up, Hellenic State has capitulated. That is unfortunate for you guys. Quite unfortunate. Oh, look at this. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? Can we do anything about famines? Maybe not. Wait, we can invade Mongolia now? Okay. You know what? How strong are they? They don't have a lot of manpower. Oh, we need something to do. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. See, it's, there's, more, there's more things to do in China than just kind of hang out and do focuses. We can invade people, and everyone loves that, right? Uh, extend the martial law. China has been an, essentially a state of effective martial law since the restart of the Chinese Civil War. While elements of military control have been removed, some remain, and some have called for the total abandonment of martial law. However, for Chiang's rule to be assured and for stability to be maintained now for the involvement of the military and civ civilian society must remain in place. Well, that's a lot more worse for Wow. Martial law forever. Eternal President, his sons congratulated him as he proposed it. The assembly cheered candidly as it was passed. With his position secured like a mighty fortress, even his long-term rivals could only applaud the others, lest they risk losing the scraps of power they still had, and the public was wary of at first would be swayed in due time. Chiang Kai-shek, the president of the ROC, paced in his opulent office, a glass of scotch in hand. He shifted his gaze to the portrait hanging behind his desk, Dr. Sun Yat-sen, father of the Republic of Modern China. He remembered when he had first gazed upon the white sun back in 1908 as a mentor Chen Kuen Mai had introduced him to Sun's Hong Meng Hui Society. Later, he had been one of the KMT's founding members. Truly one of the few glories his rivals did not try to make or take from him. He chuckled. Then he marched alone with both of his mentors, robbed by him by illness or assassin, and he had fought valiantly against all threats to the Republic. Marched on and on against warlords, commies, and Japanese bandits. And he had won. They had won. He remembered how when he last gazed longingly at the portrait just after they had won their final triumph over the Red Menace, after days of celebration in Nanjing's ballrooms and streets, he had found a moment of quiet in Dr. Sun Yat-sen's acrylic eyes. And before we continue that topic... I'm going to go ahead and do this as well to make sure that we have an, at least an adequate amount of uh, artillery in our divisions, which should be almost good enough. Cool. Before we go to war. So. Oh, crap. That's not good. So, anyways, now they sit together, triumphant once more. His rivals dealt with one way or another, and the Republic secured. Uh, Mongolia? Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. And it was secure it would be, as in the office of eternal president, created just for him today. He would rule until his death. The three principles would be fulfilled duly under his watch, nationalism. China stood strong and proud once more, and he would see that it would take the spots amongst the great powers of the world, one day, perhaps even, going to war with Baratia, maybe. Maybe one day, even surpassing the United States. Welfare. Nanjing's bustling streets were only the beginning, for with foreign money and expertise flowing into the country, in due time, the people of China would enjoy a better living than they ever had before. Democracy. Well, the party was secured and surely ready to carry on the torch of the revolution forever. The people were still not ready for self-rule. China was still too backwards, still under attack from within and without. Till then, he would guide the nation to greatness as he had, so, oh, for, as he had for so long. For who else could hope to, hope to bear his? No. Dr. Sun's mantle? He finished his drink, flicked off the light, and left the room, leaving it and Dr. Sun's image shrouded in darkness. Well, it is what it is, you know. Oh my goodness, we need so much more of this. We need so much more of everything. Holy cow. You lied to me. You said we only needed 96 more pieces of, inf of artillery. Why? But that's okay. Maybe just go to war with Mongolia anyways and have a good time with them. Mongolians always like having a good time, right? Oh, and actually, before I forget, I'll have you guys not come up north because there's no airbase around here. Holy crap. There you go. I should get that done pretty quickly, though. In any case, get him over here so he can get ready to go over there to do some uh, good work, we'll call it. Yes, good work. Uh, you don't need that much longer to train. Going to do that as well. Ooh, Cass, cool. Let's get some better uh, fighters. Yes, please, don't mind if we do. They're so close. There you go. They're almost done. There you go. Great. Oh, and they get more guys, so that kind of hurts them. Hurts their experience. And almost there, friendship. Wow, that was a lot faster than I expected. They almost died immediately. So you got cast and you got fighters. Come over there. That'll be good for now. Good. That should help out just a little bit. Not much, but at least a little bit. Over here, propaganda of peace. In a week, we will invade Mongolia. Promises of peace. God turns his face away tearful. That's so sad. Invade Laos? Oh, I want to invade Laos. And you guys come over here, too. Alright, we go to war with Mongolia. The steps are steps are ablaze again. Alright, well, we're attacking. And we're finding some sort of success. That's not bad. I want you guys to cut these guys off. Just go up there. There you go. And we got a lot of divisions to edit, but that's okay. In the meantime, extending martial law. Oh, we can't do anything else here, huh? 
Secure Burma. Oh, I can't wait to do all this stuff. Um, in the meantime, though, anything else for improved working conditions? I eh, get more war support, but we're gonna wait. We'll get some partial mobilization eventually. Dynastic politics. Ooh, that looks okay. The Nanjing years. Let's do that. From 1927 to 37, the Nanjing decade saw unparalleled stability and economic growth within China for the first time until the calamity of the war against the, Japan, the Japanese and the rise of communists caused a significant setback. Now, with China not only stabilized but strengthened, and economic growth again increasing rapidly. The, these are the new Nanjing years ahead of us. Cool. And we have fuck. Look at all that army speed we're getting. That is beautiful, my friends. Just straight up beautiful. Uh, where's the capital? There goes Croatia. That sucks. Oh, there it is. Um, you guys do that. You go to Ulan Batar. No, no, Italy, no. Why? Why must you? Oh, America. You look so great, but why? Oh. Why? Oh God, America took over that, over Libya. Oh. There's America in North Africa. Oh, if only that actually... Oh, Sanusi. Uh, actually happened in real life, that would... Oh, man. Hmm. Maybe we wouldn't have nearly as many problems, but that's just me, maybe. 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 Well, uh, we took the capital of Mongolia. See, we get a little bit of action here at the end of the episode. See, I, I knew we had a little bit more in us. How much political power are we getting every day now? Now the Allies are allies. The Toronto Accord is trying to release other nations 1.1. That's not great, but you know what? I guess it's better than nothing. Get on up there if you can. Where's the capital next? This reveal a suits report. Uh, probably nothing to worry about. Cool. Obviously, we don't have nearly as much equipment as we really actually should have. The Italian thought. Dictatorship not what used to be too little too late. Hey, in circumstance, nice. And a fascist Italy. Cool. Democracy is here. Whether they wanted it or not. Single receiver action? Yes, please. Well, the Kingdom of Italy is back. The Bosnia has been released. They're paternal autocrats, but they're American puppet. Wait, America, you are conservative, but you released Messi as a paternal autocrat. Bosnia is independent, led by a guy with nice hair. And then we have Montenegro, where he's like a dude speaking. Milovan Dilas? West African independence? Oh boy. Hey! Perfect. And this is the perfect time to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I knew we could go to war. Ah, oh, now that's a nicer looking China. But regardless, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we expand China's influence around Asia and maybe the world. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.